The, yeah. Will the situation with GE, will that influence? No, I mean, I, I've been thinking about that last couple of days, obviously. And, you know, GE is a, is going through some restructuring in some ways right now. And I think that there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, information coming out. And there's a lot of people assessing and jumping to conclusion that GE is going to break up and all this other stuff. And I mean, I don't think that's the case at all. I spoke to GE to this morning. I spoke to one of the executives over there and, and just basically, you know, just checking in to see what's going on. They're going through they're going through a, a restructuring of, of, of some of some of their divisions performed, overperformed, and some underperformed, and, you know, I, I give them credit. It's a daunting task. It's a 130-year-old company uh, that, that is going to be working. This is a little different situation here. Amazon is, is not moving. This is not their global headquarters. This is, they're looking for a second global headquarters, so th this is a business model that's just dealing with Amazon that they're going to be looking to expand their, se their second headquarters, so it's kind of a different situation. It's, it's similar in the sense of, obviously, they're, they're monster giant companies, GE and Amazon, but they're different in the sense of GE moved their corporate headquarters from one, one one city to another to Boston. Amazon is not doing that. Amazon is looking for a second headquarters. And I think if Amazon was going to be down, I don't think I don't see any any time in the future Amazon going smaller. Uh, it seems like they're just getting bigger every day.